Hi, so I completed my little project, my little speaker. So you've got a little charger, you've got the Raspberry Pi Zero W, um, so there's the USB cable going into USB sound card, which is going out to homemade stereo amplifier. Um, and if you just have a quick look inside, oh, give you a quick look. So that's the. So that's a better look. So there's the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, the flashing light means that there's output going to the speakers. Um, there's the 3.5 jack going into the homemade amplifier and if I turn it on you heard you can hear the speaker but because this is commercial music and I don't want to strike off YouTube I can't actually play it um, however if I get a break If I get a break between playing then obviously yeah you'll be able to get a better listen so as long as the lights flashing on the sound card that shows that there's activity there's music going to the, um, the amplifier and um, if I come this side, you can see Raspberry Pi Zero inside, and there's the SD card here. No, that's the camera, the camera module, the SD card. I'll just come around. Um, so the SD card is in this side and there's the inputs that's powered off um, a little um, charge I bought for um, £6.95 from um, a, a small electronic shop near my house um, and that's rechargeable the amplifiers recharge was it's, it's actually battery powered as well um, if you can see and there's the inside of the homemade amp and um, so that's no means so that's battery powered um, that's a project I made some while ago um, for these little occasions um, I could also use it with any other speaker any other amplifier um, via 3.5 and jack via sound card and that could be connected to uh, a big hi-fi as well but at present it's on this little bluetooth system so that's all I could play because I'll get a strike of YouTube so that's all so that's that project all wrapped up took about two, um, two and a half hours to put um, the by zero into a small more made case which I you know sort of made from a tube of plastic and I use a Stanley knife to cut out the bits I need um, and then to download the software uh, which is the Mood software from www.mood.org um, that's just a matter of going to the website downloading it to your desktop then you get a program like Etcher or Rufus to burn the the ISO the an SD card you just put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi uh, you use 
Ethernet via USB. Um, I've got an Ethernet cable that helped me get on to the internet because you wouldn't actually get on to the internet uh, like that. You have to put an SSH file, an SSH file into the oh, you have to put an SSH file into the boot root directory of the Raspberry Pi that allows the, um, the Pi to boot and you have SSH enabled you then have to install um, a WPA supplicant file and that also goes to the root of the of the SD card in the W is supplicant you have to put in your the name of your uh, provider for your internet and then you put in the passcode and also W S K P P S A P S A um so that's the that's the USB Ethernet cable that allowed me to plug this into the USB um, plug on the Pi and then I plugged an Ethernet cable into this socket and that allowed me to get onto the internet via USB and then I was able to set up the the um, Pi Zero to work wirelessly so now you can see I don't need Ethernet all I need is a portable um, su power supply and the boy's got its own wireless passcode and so that's working wirelessly connect it to a pair, um, a pair of speakers via a homemade little lamp that I made uh, with a module uh, from eBay um, this is a Bluetooth speaker as well because it put, you know it's got when it turns on it flashes out a Bluetooth signal and uh, you could connect this by Bluetooth from a phone as well so it's a Bluetooth um, stereo speaker I made and um, so yeah so that's it that's just um, the project completed from just a Raspberry Pi four pound nine pound sixty for the Pi Zero um, about six pounds for the power supply five pound eighty for the cables um, one is a USB OTG and the other one is a power cable yeah so that's all you need uh, to make your own little system remember you go to Volumio or Mood or Pi Music Box any of that, that software burn onto an SD card you connect it to the Raspberry Pi um, enable your password your Wi-Fi access and away you go small Pi portable I mean I've got larger models than this but um this one's a lot of fun because it's so tiny you can slip it in your pocket take it with you and when you're going to you know sort a towel or something like that you, you take along a little bluetooth speaker to plug in and that serves as well as a little bluetooth um, stereo system you just need a little bluetooth speaker to plug into the pie and, and away you go you got internet radio or you could download some tracks to your SD card on the Pi and actually play that via the software as well so that makes it truly portable as a mu music player um, and as you know the Pi's got Bluetooth the Pi Zero W's got Bluetooth built in so you connect to a Bluetooth speaker even before a cable so makes it easy so remember folks you need one of these uh, it gets you to trouble when you need to get on to the internet and you don't have a Wi-Fi configured once you're on the internet you configure wireless on whatever system it is and yeah you're well aware so that's a USB 3 gigabit LAN adapter this was bought off eBay as well so you're looking at about I think this was about 10 pounds um, but it comes in really handy 
I've got a USB adapter cable to lengthen it and that just plugs in plug it into any USB port on a PC you know as a second uh, Ethernet port you could plug it into any, any device that's got a USB um, socket and you'll be able to get on the internet if it's uh, a Raspberry Pi or a computer or something that doesn't have doesn't have a spear Ethernet port so that's all for now so see you on my next one bye